Okay, so recently I went to Alaska, and I'd say I took some of the best photos I'd ever taken up until that point, but I didn't really have anything special in terms of equipment. I just had one of the cheapest camera lenses you can buy and a pretty beginner-friendly body that I'm also using to film right now. Photography can be an incredibly expensive hobby, but it doesn't have to be, and you can still take incredible photos. And I'm gonna show you how. Psst. Okay, so by the way, I made a video pretty recently about how you can get the ball rolling in terms of starting photography, just taking photos on your phone or any camera you have around your house or whatnot. So I'd watch that first if you have absolutely zero experience. This, is, this video is basically gonna show you how to buy a camera at any budget you choose, so. Here's what to look out for when purchasing a camera. First, you're gonna wanna go to probably eBay or Facebook Marketplace. Those are the two places I tend to use. Now, depending on your price range, being on the lower end, if it's like $100 or whatnot, you're gonna be going for an older camera for sure. But cameras usually age pretty well and you can always look at the pictures and ask the seller about certain details. There's just gonna be less features that are like high tech, like a touch screen or whatnot. So a couple things. First, you're gonna need at least a lens. For the <laughs> for the camera because otherwise you're going to be struggling um the megapixels the mp that's basically just your resolution the higher the better but whatever it is it's probably enough honestly sometimes looking for bundles if you're going at, you have a bigger budget can be nice and um different features that you might be looking for if you want a camera that has video taking capabilities honestly that's going to be harder to do do on the lower end, I would say you need over a $300 budget to include like video capabilities, but that are at least solid for videography. All right, so let's start off with a $100 budget. Essentially, in this situation, my target is to get a camera and a lens, make sure we have everything to make sure it runs, a battery, the charger, um, just honestly the bare basics, because <laughs> $100 is a lot of money, but in the camera world, it's gonna be tougher to work with. So I'm gonna start with Facebook Marketplace. Um, you can obviously use eBay as well. I just have a random city inputted. I would not ever like use shipping on Facebook Marketplace. I, I just don't know how reliable it is. So I would only do local pickup. Um, so first at a $100 price range, we're basically just gonna set this to a max of 100. Uh, I would just search up DSLR. I think that's probably the best. You don't want like, we're not gonna include like power shot cameras because that's we want an interchangeable lens system so you can improve and get save up for a, a better lens or whatnot well, this is exactly hundred dollars charger and sd card okay so this is actually really this is listed though a long time ago so i don't know if the buyer would actually respond with this i would try and do something that's a little more recent so we could put like last seven days in here that's just like for reliability's sake I, it's really quite possible someone would respond but i have no idea if they would okay so this pretty much has everything this is a nikon okay a nikon d60 so if you're if you have no idea what a camera is i just look it up and then you can look at i'll just look at this right here okay so it's got a, it's 10 megapixels, which according to Wikipedia is about 3000 by 2003. Okay, that's, that's actually, that would work perfectly. It doesn't go very high in terms of ISO. That honestly would probably be fine. Most people don't shoot more than that and you wouldn't want to. This was released 2008. It's not bad actually. That's, I think kind of the range you would get for a hundred dollar cameras, like even I would say older, you'd get like 2004 kind of vibes. Um, but this is 2008, that's not too shabby. If all I had was $100 and this was like an option, I would probably get this. Cause this has a stock lens, which mind you aren't like great, they're not good, but they're better than nothing. For sure, <laughs> cause nothing, you can't take a picture with nothing. Um, this has a more extra batteries too which is kind of nice but i would i don't think i'd ever use this battery grip thing because it's just too chunky i'm i like the travel aspect okay so that's an option now okay i'm gonna allow all now if some of these were to re like reply i would actually probably end up going with this t4i i don't really know a lot about it this this is 18 megapixels honestly if I would try and get this camera if I could. This looks like just a downgraded T5i, which I've used before. And it's, I mean, it's great at photography, especially for a beginner, it would be, it would be perfect. I would try that. Now on eBay, this is what I would do. 
I would only buy like, well, you could buy locally on eBay. That's fine. But for now, I'm going to keep it just on shipping under 90 for shipping sake. The problem with eBay at this price range is it's really hard to find solid cameras. Now you could start like go on an auction, which would honestly you have the best chance of saving money on something like that or on Facebook marketplace at around this price range. So you could go to something like this and this is the D40 which I think is older than the D60. It is older. So honestly, that might be a worse deal, but it just, you have an, a zoom lens in this package. So I, it's just what you want with the price range. I think if I had a hundred dollars and I wanted to start photography, obviously like if you could save for more, that would be optimal, but this is what I do if it was a hundred dollars. All right, $300, here's what you do. Honestly, Facebook Marketplace, kinda killing it, kinda killing it, let's start there again. Yeah, let's hit this again, switch it up, hit the 300. I think you're gonna start noticing like how this kinda works. You just like look around, see what's cooking, hopefully find something good. I would hit a minimum if you wanna hit that higher range of about $300. Now with this, we've got some decent options here. Okay, so I don't really know anything about the SL1, but this looks good to me. It looks really good to me. Here, let's look up what the SL1 is. So this includes, this is, I think this is a typo. This is supposed to say 75 to 300. Yeah, that's a 75 to 300 millimeter lens. Uh, tripods, this comes with a bunch of decent starting stuff. Missing a plastic piece. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Technically, this part doesn't matter unless you have a like lens hood to block sunlight, like lens flare, but it does make me worry when I see something like this, like that it's been dropped and there could be some internal damage that may or may not be apparent immediately, um, but may cause damage down the line, like some problems down the line. So I'd be wary of this. Oh wait, this is shipping too, whoops. All right, so I, I think I'd go straight well, this is a T7 that's cheaper. I'd go to this T7. Oh, there's <laughs> absolutely no info. Not great pictures either. Okay, so in this circumstance, a T7 is not too bad. I've shot on this camera as well. Let me get you the specs. So yeah, I think it's like MSRP is like 450. So this is not bad at all. I would say in this case, I would message the buyer and I would like ask them for maybe some better pictures of the lens, the glass, see if anything's scratched up, see if I could get a picture of the internals and also like what's included, like if batteries will be included and whatnot. And this has been posted really recently and everyone I've messaged on Facebook Marketplace usually like, especially if it's a recent post, will like respond to those things. So that's what I would do. And in that case, because we have like $200 to spare, what I would do is I would go to eBay and I would get something called the Nifty 50. It's, it's this lens. It's like one of the cheapest lens you can buy, but it's really awesome because you can get a really low aperture for the price. And it's great for portrait photography, great for a lot of stuff. I took a lot of pictures with it. It has a really slow autofocus. So it's terrible for like action photography, but it does the trick for everything else for a really cheap price. So in this case, we have a T7. This is where things get a little complicated. You have to make sure the, there's this ring on a camera. It looks like this. See this ring here? That's where the lens fits on. So you wanna make sure that ring size, different cameras have different ring size, so you can't just slap another lens onto a camera. You have to have an adapter or you just get lenses that fit to that size. So in this case, the T7 uses an EF lens size. So you can look at like T7 mount type and it will give you the answer. It's an EF and EFS lens mount, which the good thing in this case is EF lenses and EFS lenses are so cheap used. It's actually incredible um, because they've been made for so long. You can just get old ones pretty much. I would look up a 50 millimeter Canon EF lens. This is $100 just about. Also important, very important. When you're buying on eBay, make sure the reviews are like pretty good. I would say usually 100% I wouldn't, I wouldn't honestly buy something from someone that's like under 96, 97%. It depends on the item, but here's something we can try. You can always look at sold items if you scroll down, and this will tell you the given range that a given product will sell for on, uh, on eBay, which is incredibly helpful for whatever you're buying. So you will 
tend to spend less money when you buy something used and via auction. Buy it now options, usually you don't save money that way. It seems like you could get one for around, that's a bit of a risk though, because this person has no reviews, but eBay does have like a money back guarantee in case something goes wrong. It just can be a bit of a hassle to like talk with customer reps and stuff about that. Yeah, so it, it's clear that it could be bought under, you could probably just buy this, buy it now, and we'd get it under, we'd have $290. And we have a good set of lenses. This is a stock lens, so it can already go pretty wide. Um, and we would have the 50 millimeter lens, the Nifty 50, um, which would get us that low aperture for that background blur. Yeah, I think that's the optimal route to go. Now you could try and get more of a bundle situation going. You could try getting an older camera, maybe get more lenses. Now, obviously this will all depend on where you live, especially in the case of Facebook Marketplace. So you can always use eBay to just ship stuff. All right, now let's try $500. That's the budget, okay? So I think I'll keep sticking to Facebook Marketplace on this just because it's honestly been pretty helpful. I'm gonna set this like a 350, 500 range. In this situation, the thing that's first like catching my eye is the Canon M50 because that's what I'm filming on right now. <laughs> and I know it to be pretty good, pretty reliable. I mean, I've been using it for a while. That's what I literally take all my pictures on. This one honestly looks like it's in pretty good condition. I think honestly, that's what I'd go for in this situation. I would go for the M50. It has great options in terms of like its versatility. It can do pretty solid videography. I think this is a actually really good option. It comes with a tripod sick the lens is mid at best it's this lens right here so what i would do in this situation because this is we have like 125 dollars to work with here i do a couple things i think i would try and get this 50 millimeter lens the problem is the mount is different for the m50 as i mentioned earlier so like i can't just slap this 50 millimeter onto this camera, I have to get an adapter because the Canon M50 uses an EFM mount. So, and we need an EF mount. So what you can do is you can just get one on Amazon. You could probably find one used. I've only bought these ones new, like just new, but it would probably work perfectly fine used. They, they're pretty good quality. So this would put us at around, that would put us around 492. I think, I think that would be the way to go is you, leave the sd cards get one of these and you get a mount let me look at um canon m50 on here what it sells for typically this is the sold price typically this is a bunch of stuff this is four oh this is like around 470 dollars it's around 400 dollars. this is without the um lens so you could just not get the stock lens which is the lens a camera comes with usually and just get the adapter in the 50 millimeter and that would save you a good chunk of money but Obviously with this, the 50 millimeter, you cannot zoom in. It is stuck at one focal length. So something to keep in mind. Depends on what you're sort of wanting to do. I, I don't know if I'd do that because it was helpful learning in the beginning with the zoom functionality on a stock lens or whatnot. 420. So you, you would save money getting it used nearby on for sure on Facebook. But obviously on Facebook, you're gonna have way less options. So you just have to look around. And also clearly you can save money on either, it just depends. But hopefully this video gave you a better idea of sort of how to shop around with any budget, with your budget for a camera. Dang, dang, buying the camera is fun. I didn't even buy anything, I just looked at stuff. Let's go. Thanks for watching, I'll see ya.